What's going on everybody? Your host AMF 1534 here. Let's play some more Super Mario Galaxy 2 and we have passed the half century mark. And we are now starting World 5 actually now that I think about it. So let's just, uh, I'm not even going to waste time. We got a lot of stuff to do today. We get to start up this whole thing and see how far we can get in that endeavor. And uh, yeah, one big piece of news, I've actually already mentioned it in a different video of mine earlier this afternoon, but I am only five subscribers away from 500, and that's really big news for me. So, uh, freaking yeah, you know? Holy effing shit. And now we're in the storm of space in the galaxy, and I want to go up. Let me go up, for God's sakes. I love pole stars, and I don't love pole stars, and I walked right into that. I had everything I had coming at that one. So, yeah. We're very close. I wonder who the 500th subscriber is going to be. Maybe I'll have, like, a prize for him or something. Nah, I probably won't. I'm a struggling college student. I don't really have the type of money to be doling out for prizes. Though that would be pretty cool, though. Holy shit, that was an awesome jump. That was, that was awesome. I did not think I was going to be able to pull off that type of, that type of theatrics. And now I'm getting myself into trouble here. I'm getting stuck. There we go. Yeah. Oh, shit. No. Oh, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Now, the question is, where is my Comet Metal? There you are. I saw you trying to hide. And the fact that I'm about to die. Don't die, damn it. Jeez. Yeah, you look like you're tired, Mario. Well, don't do that. Don't be an idiot. Somebody give me a coin. This would be definitely the place to go for coins. And we're uh, piling up the star bits, too. This is, this is of much importance. So, uh... Yeah. Just, yeah. I really, you know what I really can't wait for, though? And I know that I have also mentioned this at one point today, and I'm trying to figure out where the entrance to this place is, and I can't seem to find it. Um, I really can't wait to get a new capture card. That's what I can't wait for. That's gonna be good stuff. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to get in? Oh, I know how I have to do it. That sucks. All right, we gotta make this bomb guy follow us all the way down here. So you just gotta make sure that you're walking the right way, otherwise it's just not gonna work. Come on! Yeah! Atta boy. I remember that now. I was like, why the fuck can I not go down there? Don't, don't you dare. Yeah! But yeah, I'm... In the market of a new capture card one of these days. Maybe I won't buy it till after I come back from Vegas in August, but a guy can dream though, can he? He says if I would ever walk in the bathroom and saw him naked, I'd never grow up feeling like a real man. Whatever that means. Shit. I'm gonna die! No! I really am gonna die. I didn't think it was actually gonna happen, but those little bastards were tossing me like a salad over there. Not, and do not, just do not confuse that with, with me saying that they were tossing my salad, because that's not what I said. Just for those of you that are trying to misconstrue what I'm saying. Wham! Ooh, that would have been an awesome move had I pulled it off. And I just made up that extra life that I lost. So, another thing. I, uh... Just recently started watching my Hey Arnold DVDs again. I forgot how awesome that show is. I've already gone through the entire uh, the entire thing once, which that's I mean 12 DVDs worth of stuff, which is awesome. And I started watching it right before I went to bed last night. It was good. I highly enjoyed myself. Ooh, I see star bits. Oh shit! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Jeez. Get control of yourself, man. I hate, I, as much as I love this game, I cannot stand when they give me long stretches of having to use these. Shit. 
I don't like when these things follow me around. Yeah, there we go. God, I'd actually like, sit there and focus for that one. The focus factor. Whispering wind. Okay, so that was a that was a quick start. It only took about five minutes. It's not too shabby. Bum, 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 bum. We're moving along pretty steadily. I can't argue. We're building our star bit count back up again. And now we unlocked all of that stuff. I love I I love World Five maybe the most just because of that animation. I just love watching the thing go. Dun, dun, okay. Anywho, we don't have any mail or anything, do we? No. So sleepy. Well, then go to fucking go to go in the cabin and go to bed then. You know. Go knock out the other star in here while we're at it. Why do I need to know that he's tired? You know, it's not like he's doing anything. I gotta go out here and do all this stuff. Well, he, he and his really large purple body are just kind of hanging around. Oh no. This one's this one can be this one can be a real a real thorn inside of your kneecap. I don't really know what that means, but I mean you you get the idea. Man, these things are really really going. God, I knew it was gonna happen. Well, don't throw me out there. Jeez, let me go. Oh, I almost had it, I almost had it, I almost had it. Yeah! Wow, that was cool. So this is the hard part. You just gotta get your way through here. But just getting your way through here is the hard part. You gotta open up the gates and run like your life depended on it. Get the anchors out of your pants, man! Oh, come on! There you go. We're... Slowly not moving anywhere. Just get over there, go over there. There we go. No. No. There we go. I love it when it freezes like this, because I love how it keeps the color red on that. This is the part that's hard, though. I mean, I know there's probably alternative routes to go with this in, but... Just because, and for the sake of the hunt, we will go at this speed. Just gotta... Don't die! Whew. Not a very good place to be. This is when it gets chippy, because then you gotta... You gotta make sure that you're going quick enough. And not get electrocuted like that. Ah, gotta start over again. I wanna try to get over to that tube over there. I think a little lone div went down the wrong tube! Shit. Shit. Don't be surprised if I get stuck here for a little bit. This is not an easy segment. Of course, I could just probably just run across this and take care of it. Let me get down here. Thank you. Thank you much. Oh, I need to tell you guys a story about the customer I had yesterday. Oh my god, what a bitch. Uh, let me get through this little coin thing first, though. And then we'll talk about it. These things really, really make you work. But at the same time, we're getting a lot of coins. Shit. Shit. Hey! Woo! And star bits! Awesome! Man, we're really, really getting it done. Okay, so, I need to tell you the story about the customer I had today, because she was such a bitch. Okay, so... I'm at, the, I'm at the store, you know, whatever. No big deal. And this lady comes in, probably, I'm gonna guess, mid-40s, maybe? You know. She comes in, comes looking for something, and goes off in the little the aisle right next to the door, and she she's looking. And she notices that whatever it was that she was looking for, we didn't have it. But for, but for whatever reason, she just fucking lost it, like... She started stomping her feet on the floor, and she just made this big, big spiel about it. Wow, that was really easy. Um, and she's just like, 
why don't you guys ever have this? It's like, we do have this. We've had it for a while now. She's like, well, the one that I'm looking for is not here. I was, and I, I told her, I was like, well, we should be getting an order of that within the next week. And she just started stomping her feet, but I need it right now! And keep in mind, this lady's in her mid-40s, and... I mean, thank God that there was nobody else in my store at this point, because she would have been making... She would have made a giant scene out of this. Hey! 1,000 on the button! Tight! Anyway, so... I was like, well, you know, if you want, we can take your name and number down. And... You know, we can take care of that. But the thing is, is that... We had the one that she wanted, but... The one that she wanted was... Uh, was twice... Was the double strength one, but I didn't have that. Um... Which one do we want to do? Boo Moo? I don't want to do Boo Moon. Fuck that one. I don't want to do that one either, so we'll do this one because I like Upside Dizzy. Upside Dizzy in the hizzy, bitch. Anyways, so she ends up buying this one. And, you know, I'm, I ring her up at the register. Blah, blah, blah. And then she, she says something and she's like, well, she's like, I have a bit of a complaint. I was like, okay, well, what, what's, what's, the, what's the problem? And just a little bit of a backstory. I had three stores at the place that I work at, and we closed one back in mid-October last year. And so, the, th the whole thing about it is, um, wow, that was weird. Um, that was really weird. Um, so we closed one in mid-October, and for a number of months, like, literally probably two or three months before we closed that location, we, we were telling all of our customers that we were going to do that. Just so, just for situations like this. She's like, well, why didn't you tell any of your, anybody that you guys were leaving? It's like, we did. For, like, two or three months. Like, I'm not even kidding. She's like, no, you didn't. It's like, yeah, I, I did, actually. We, we really did do that. <laughs> I'm not just sitting here, you know, pulling your leg. We really did tell our customers for a while that we were doing that. She's like, well, I just went in, I went in there, like, two weeks after you guys closed. And there was nothing there saying that you guys had left at all. I was like, well, I'm almost positive that we told everybody that we were leaving. So unless you didn't come into our store for like four months until we closed, then everybody should have known. So she's just like, and she's like, well, you guys need to do, you guys need to do a better job of that. But just so you know, like after, because right after we closed, the mall wouldn't allow us to put up a sign saying that we were that we were doing that, they just wouldn't allow it because they're dicks. So, you know, we gave that's why we gave people a heads up. So, you know, I tried to explain to her all this, and she just wasn't having it. And then we had a customer call on one of the other phone on uh, they called and I was the only one up front, so I had to try to take care of both her and that guy, and I failed. Um so I'm I'm talking. And the phone's ringing, and everybody else is in the back room. And so I was like, I was like, just hold, please hold on a minute, I need to answer the phone. And so I pick up the phone, and she's like, that's just terrible customer service, I can't believe that you just did that. I was like, I was like, I had to answer the phone, like, what, what do you want, what do you want me to do? It's like, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Obviously, you came in here with a problem in the first place. So, I mean, don't get all fucking butthurt just because we didn't have the shit that you wanted. Oh, you're not going to get there. Fuck. And so, she, yeah, she's like, that's just terrible customer service. I'm never coming back. And she went storming out the door, but she, like, knocked her purse off of the off of the counter, and I kind of I kind of laughed a little bit. And she just scowled at me and stomped out. And I was just like, really? Like, what the fuck is your problem? Why is it that why is it that I have to take the heat for something that it's not my not my deal? But at the same time, that is the world of retail sales. Shit, come on baby. Come on baby. Hey, there we go. With a nice crisp Paul on the board for time left. So, yeah, that was the story of the bullshit customer that was in her mid-40s that acted like a ten-year-old. Oh my god, you don't have this, but I want now! Stomp, stomp, pout, bitch. See you later. So, yeah. That's, I mean, that's the, the magical world of retail sales, though. And sometimes, just, what can you do about it? Upside Dizzy. 
We got ourselves a nice uh, three stars today. Not, not too shabby. Not too shabby. And I think that our little glass case of, of items is almost full, with the exception of one more. Which, I think the only one we're missing is... Actually, I don't remember. I don't remember. Alright, guys. Well, it appears that we have run out of time for today. I mean, we've uh, actually done quite well. I, I must say that I'm pleased with my performance today. And he's still tired. I mean, stop drinking energy drinks, son. Anyways, when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're going to try to progress a little bit more in the Upside Dizzy Galaxy. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, conquer that the next time we come around. So, this has been your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good one. It's a nice day. And you guys have a nice day. Bye.